Hi, my name's Hayden Ward. I'm down here today at Dam Head Lane Fishery in Williston on the Wirral. It's about four o'clock. I've come for an evening session, so I'm going to fish through till about eight o'clock. The main methods today are the pole, a margin swim, and then I've got an 11 and a half meter line over there. So um, I'm going to run you through the rigs and the baits that I'm using throughout the session and um, I'm going to show you how to get the best from this really amazing fishery. So keep watching and I hope you enjoy. Right, okay, hi guys. Um, it's really warm right now. It's about 25 degrees at the minute, maybe a little bit less, 23 or something like that. But it's really warm and the lake's fishing really hard, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I've fished the margins, I've only had one fish from there, a tench. I've fished the long pole, about 12 and a half metres, over to the island, and I've had roach and a carp. And then I've had one carp just down by my feet as well in the margins and it's just been really hard so far. I've been fishing for about an hour now. So I'm gonna change and set up a line that's about five meters out, straight out in front of me, because nothing's happening on the long line now. And I'm just gonna keep feeding the margins, hope something decent comes along. Uh, so it's really going quite hard at the minute. I mean, usually it's fishing its socks off this place, but in this heat, nothing's up for feeding at the minute, so it's really hard fishing. I'm gonna run you through the rigs in a bit of time now, but I'm gonna get back on the box, and uh, I'm just gonna hope that the fish turn on and I can catch some fish for you. All right, I'll see you in a bit of time. There we have it, a lovely little roach. Next, I'm gonna run you through the bait. So, today's bait, we've got Eastern Angling Centre's six mil feed pellets. Really good, really cheap, you can't go wrong with them. I haven't even bothered soaking them today. They sink, they feed the fish and they draw them in. So I'd recommend them. Eastern Angling Centre on the Wirral, they stock these and they're really good. Got me maggots from Easter Mangling Centre as well. Very good maggots. Tip top condition. Ringers expand the pellets that I'm using today, all from Easter Mangling Centre. I'll just show you them. There you go, four mil, and I've got some six mils in my bag as well. Easter Mangling Centre pellets. It's been quite hard fishing so far. Uh, probably about a couple of hours into the session. We've only got about an hour left. But it's cooled down a little bit because it's got later on into the evening. Um, now I'm just going to show you uh, through the rigs that I've been using today. So my margin rig, no this isn't my margin rig, sorry. This rig is the rig that I started off on at 11 metres and then I came to 5 metres on it and I've caught a few fish on that line. 
So, the rig. Basically, we've got a Preston and 11 hollow elastic. I love this elastic. It's the main elastic that I use at any commercial, really, because it's really soft and forgiving. Uh, and you can land big carp on it as well. We've got a Maver 3.2 pound line. That's 012 diameter. Down to a carp pellet float, as you can see here. That's, that's a 4x14 float. Then we're using stots today. I've got three number eights, three number tens, two number ten droppers, and then a small six inch hook length of two pound one ounce line, which is 010 diameter. So that's the first rig that I've been using at my main, 11 meters, and then down here again at five meters. Now for the margin rig. So, the margin rig. The elastic's a bit more beefed up. We haven't got that many snags, so we can still fish a hollow. So I've got a Preston 15 hollow elastic. That was a Preston. Sorry about the car noise, we can't really help that, but that's a Preston 15 hollow. Then I've got a homemade float here, um, as you can see. Six pound line with various number nine stops on it. A five pound hook length, that's Maver line again in 016 diameter, down to a size 14 hook. So I can present paste, I can present corn, I can present big pellets on it. So we want to pick up the bonus fish and I have had a bonus fish today, about a tench, about a pound and a half. So, you know, that was a nice fish along with a few couple of carp and a few roach as well. So, I mean, we'll show you the net of the fish at the end, but for this last hour, I'm going to give my little brother a go who's just arrived. So um, he's going to go have a go fishing and uh, I'm going to see if I can catch a few more for the camera for you. So they're the rigs and I'm going to carry on fishing. There we go. What have we got now? Another roach. Bit of a better one this one. Taking the, mat, the uh, pellet down. Must have liked it. Pop the hook out and there he is. Lovely little roach. Another one in the net. Got about 10 minutes to go now, so Ross has had the go, he caught a few for me. So when we show you the net at the end, don't forget, two of those fish are from my brother. So he's helped me out with the bag. We haven't got a massive bag of fish, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, it's been a hard, hard session because of the weather, the temperature. It's still about 20 degrees now, so it really is warm. The sun's beating down on me, especially I shouldn't really have chose this peg. The reason I chose it was because of the camera facilities we've got, like a big flat area behind us here where we can put the camera. So, you know, and we're in again now. A bit of a better fish this one feels like. Maybe a skimmer, maybe a car, don't know just yet. Feels like probably either a big skimmer or a car at the minute. Eleven hollows working nicely. Might not be able to see it on the camera. Yeah, I think this is a carp, this one. Really fighting these little carp do. Hey, little common ears. Get them in, scoop them up. Lovely. Jobs are good. So there you have a lovely little carp. Quality fish there. There you go. Go and have some more on a lovely evening session. Right, I've got a carp on at the minute now. Sorry if the camera's not perfect at the minute, if it moves about a bit, because it was a bit of a rush. It's like nearly the last put in. But yeah, last go in, went a bit quiet, thought we might have had it for the day, and then we get something decent on. It's not huge, hasn't gone raw enough, but uh, I think it's a couple of pounds on this light gear. I'm not going to rush it, I'm just going to give it a bit of a pull on the puller bung, tighten up that elastic a bit. Nice 11 hollow, it's not coming out loads at the minute, but when we first hooked it, it went raw enough.
right, you can hardly be ready for the net, I think. Couple of pounds, maybe. Only got a two pound bottom on, so we're now going to take it nice and easy. Alright, I think we'll stop the camera there and then we'll show you him when we get him in. Right, well, here's the best fish of the day. Let's get the muck off him, shall we? Caught on the pole, two pound bottom, carp about three pound maybe, three and a half pounds, something like that. It's a nice fish. Um, put up a good scrap on the pole, caught them on the expander pellet. So there's carp up to 18 pound in dam head. So you know, this is one of the smaller guys. But um, yeah, put up an excellent scrap. Um, really nice fish, in perfect condition. And I'd really recommend to come down. So basically, I'll put this one back. I'll show you the rest of the catch. There we go then. There's your net for tonight. About three hours fishing. About 10 to, 10 to 15 pounds of fish there maybe. Got a nice tench, carp, mirror carp there. Half decent fish. So uh, I've hoped you in, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, please keep checking up on Angling Addicts website uh, on Facebook. Please search me on Facebook and add me where you can uh, keep up to date with what's going on. And uh, come down to uh, Damhead Lane Fishery because it's an excellent venue. So thanks for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, see you some other time.